What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test Bluetooth smart locks. Let's check this out. So we got here two security smart pod lock. One is an indoor, the other one is outdoor. Today we're gonna do a little review and then we're going to try to break in, in it and see what it's like. By the way, don't be too fast throwing away this plastic. Take out this little piece of paper, there is your security code and activation code. So this is what it looks like. I have two locks right now. It took me about 30 minutes to activate and get everything set up. Now my app is open, let's press on it and it should, boom, turn green and now it opens. Pretty cool, what about this one? It's blue right now, it should turn green. Boom, it's green. I can open it now. Boom, whoa, that's pretty big lock. To close it, just close it, and it's blue means it's, it means it's closed. Boom, it's closed again. Let's try to do it again. Open it. And you see, second time, yep, it worked. And it opened. Let's see if it's open second time. Yep, it's open as well. Close it again, simple. Now, I'm not going to even turn off this app. Now, open different app. Let's see, I'm browsing the internet. And let's see if it's still going to open. You see, it does not want to open anymore. I have to almost relaunch the app or relaunch the Bluetooth or even restart my, restart my phone to get this open. Now let's go back to this master lock app. It launches. Let's see if it opens. Nothing. Come on. You see, that's kind of annoying. Now I'm going to restart my phone again and it should work again. Master lock, please fix this issue because that's kind of annoying. Every time I need to open a lock, I need to restart my phone. Okay, I have restarted my cell phone and now I'm turning back on master lock up and let's see if it opens. Yep, it opens. As you can see, it turned green. And it even says right here, it's open. This one is open. These locks don't have any keys, so any of these picks, lock picks, will not work. So we gotta think of something else to break in into these locks. Also, if your cell phone doesn't work, not a big deal. You can just open it with this layer code and boom, you see it's green, it opens. Boom. So you not always need a cell phone for this. So we're going to do fire test on this lock. First thing I really have to do is take out this layer battery because this layer batteries do explode. Now that the battery out, I'm gonna do the burning test. Oh yeah, the front screen melts really easily. Metal melting already. Let's start from this side. Oh, here you go. Half of a lock have fell off. Look at this, layer computer chips. Boom, half of the lock fell off, but, and it opened. So it didn't even have to melt all the way for it to open. Once this layer chip fell off, it was done. So as you can see, it only took me like minute and a half to open this lock, no big deal. So once the chip fell off, it opened it. Let's try to burn it some more and see how strong this metal is. Just with a blowtorch like that, this metal melts super easy. Look at that. In 15 seconds, boom, the whole lock fell off. So as you can see, this little torch can burn through this little locks really easily. 
So let's see what happens if we type in the wrong number. Boom, it turned red. Pretty cool, huh? First off, let's try to crack this combination part open and try to take the chip out. See if it's possible with this little screwdriver. Boom. Look, wow, look at that chip over here. Still locked as you can see, but the front is out. Hope it doesn't shock me. Let's break all that stuff up. Must up the chip. Let's see if it still opens. As you can see, the light doesn't work, but it still works. Let me try to break this in. Okay, it still doesn't unlock, even though light doesn't work. So that will not work. So it has this little cover right here. As you can see, there is a little screw. When it's open, you can turn the screw. When it's locked, you cannot turn that screw. Nothing happened so far. The boom, look at this. The whole thing fell out in less than a minute. Now let's see if we can open the battery. This thing is fell out. Now it's battery is open. We can take out the battery and let's see what happens. Nope, even though we took out the battery, lock is not opening, probably because we messed it up. Okay, now that the battery out, let's start to do the burn test. I'm just going to cut off this little plastic so we don't smoke it up over here. Still locked. Here you go, the font is falling out already. Here you go, and it's done. The whole lock fell down. So as you can see, it's not too reliable fire will get it in less than two minutes so this is what left with this lock melts it down with a little torch liquid nitrogen anyways what if I move the bottom piece awesome would be really 